One of the most powerful features of the UX20 is the buffered guitar input and effects loop. The buffered guitar input allows non-GK equipped guitars to access the Cosm amp and cabinet modeling in the GR55 as well as the extensive effects section without use of the special Roland GK pickup. The UX20 circuit is designed to match the impedance of the buffer circuit in the Roland GK2 GK3. First, I will connect a 13 pin cable from the Synth A output on the UX20 to the GK input of the GR55. Next, the GKS volume switch will be set to external. This sets the GKS volume in the GR55 at maximum. I'm also going to set the GKS1 and S2 switch to external as well so that I can change GR55 patches using a Roland FS6 foot switch. Finally, I'm plugging a standard guitar into the buffered slash effects loop input. To hear the process sound of the guitar through the GR55, you need to select a GR55 patch that uses the standard guitar input. Three factory patches are specifically set up for the normal guitar input. Lead bank 1 patches 30-1 for normal pickup 1, 30-2 for normal pickup 2, or 30-3 for normal pickup 3. <laughs> If you want to control the volume of the GR55 with the foot pedal, then just plug a Roland EV5 into the external volume jack. The UX20 also increases the versatility of the GR55. For example, if you are a guitar player with a guitar rig, but you need to get a high quality bass recording, the UX20 is just the ticket. Boot the GR55 into bass mode by going to Edit, System, Backup, and choosing Bass. When you restart the GR55, the unit will be in bass mode. In bass mode, start with patches 10-1, 10-2, or 10-3. Like the GR55 patches, these are specifically designed to process the normal bass pickup. Just plug the bass guitar into the UX20 buffered guitar input, and you're ready to go. When you're finished, boot back into guitar mode. Switching modes does not erase or alter your custom patches. In this way, the GR55 can be used for a recording or as a processor for a live bass rig. The buffered input on the UX20 does double duty as an effects loop. By plugging a tip ring sleeve cable into the UX20, you can create an effects loop for your GR55, VG99, or any rolling guitar synthesizer. This effects loop allows you to use existing foot pedals along with the GR55. The tip connection goes to the output of your external effects and the ring to the input. The effects loop circuit expands the sonic possibilities of the GR55 and makes it easier to integrate the powerful GR55 guitar synthesizer into an existing rig. <laughs> 